Tonight's headlines are brought to you in part by Coldwell Energy and McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemus. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. Domestic violence remains an issue in the CNMI, but the support is stronger than ever. Also tonight, drivers must be aware of their surroundings. And the CNMI gains new prison guards. In sports, this young gun shares his adventures. Stay with us, we have these stories and more next here on the Channel 2 News. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. These fruits can bear all year round. Of all the lemons, man, Calamansi has the most seed, but yet the most juice. It's crazy. Yes. If you want something, just work hard for it. I don't know, like with my parents, I've just seen how hard they work. So, this is labor one. of love, no? First of all, I'd like to thank the governor for this, the boost, the opportunity for this grant. Brought to you by the Office of the Governor. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Half a day to the WAMI and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Friday, October 7th, 2022. Domestic Violence Awareness Month has become one of the biggest events in the CNMI, with hundreds of supporters and advocates coming out each year to help victims and survivors. The movement continues to grow. This year's theme, Amplify the Movement, is truly timely. The theme for this year's campaign in the CNMI is Amplify the Movement. It's time to increase the volume on the issue of domestic violence. Victims and survivors, no matter where they are or what their circumstance, need to hear and feel our support. Ending domestic violence requires action, like speaking up and bringing support to do directly to victims and survivors. It was a full house at the Kensington Hall on Thursday morning for the Domestic Violence Awareness Month proclamation signing ceremony. Each year, the community remembers eight women who lost their lives to domestic violence. Kiki Jane Chrysostomo is the daughter of one of the late victims who remembers her mom as a lively woman who was wrongfully taken. 
I feared for her life, day in and day out. So much so that on the day of her passing, without anyone informing me of anything other than that she had passed, I knew. I knew that her life was taken and I knew exactly who took it. I'm not fond of referring to what happened as her passing because she didn't pass, she was taken. To all of the children who have lost a parent to domestic violence, I'm so sorry. Losing a parent on its own is unbearable, but to have lost them this way is a different kind of pain. I also extend my condolences to the families of the victims who lost their life. I know people say it gets easier, but if you haven't healed from that loss, you are not alone. I would also like to acknowledge the victims who are still here with us today. You are survivors. No matter where you are in life, I am extremely proud that you are still here with us. This year's ceremony was also dedicated to two strong advocates, the late Shane Mendola and Diana Camacho. Maisie Tenorio, who heads the Northern Marianas Coalition Against Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault, challenges the community to follow their work. We especially challenge our leaders, leaders in government, in community, in business, and in faith. As we enter a season of change, or the word family will be sowed into your speeches and planted into your promises. We ask that you honor Shay and Auntie Diana by not only speaking the change, but by being the change. And one way you can do that is to make a public statement against violence and make it visible. Put it in practice by assuring that all those who serve with you hold that same standard to treat everyone with dignity. And for those that don't, hold them accountable. Governor Torres proclaims the month of October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month and calls the community to join the cause. We gotta move harder for all of us to make, to end this violence, to end the domestic. You gotta take care of the people you love. And that's why you love them, to be there, to encourage them, to be part of that journey. The CNMI Board of Parole deliberates over six applications from convicted individuals requesting for early release. Parole was granted to three men today, all whom were convicted of theft, robbery, and burglary. Clifford Palacios and Travis Camacho will be released early, while Stephen Hasselgogam remains under custody awaiting his deportation. The Attorney General's office initially opposed parole for all six applicants, requesting they serve the remaining sentence. The board has denied parole for Sean Appleby, Calistro Casostomo, and Joshua Martin. They remain in the CNMI Department of Corrections. The Department of Public Safety will be conducting pedestrian safety enforcement throughout the island. Take a listen. It's not just common courtesy, it's the law. The Commonwealth Code states that drivers shall yield the right of way to a pedestrian crossing the highway within any marked crosswalk or within any unmarked crosswalk at an intersection. When a vehicle stops to allow the pedestrian to cross the highway, drivers from behind shall not overtake the stopped vehicle. According to DPS, the purpose of this enforcement is to promote public safety and increasing awareness on dangers of not stopping at a crosswalk. Drivers are expected to be aware of pedestrians and to have understanding of the rules of the road. The locations chosen to conduct these enforcements will be at random to ensure consideration is incorporated into daily driving habits. The CNMI Department of Corrections gains 38 new officers. Family and friends gathered at the Pacific Islands Club on Thursday to witness their swearing in and their commitment to the community. Here is a Sights and Sounds by our editor, Jane Borden.
you need to have open mind to better learn and understand your surroundings. Be proud of your chosen career, for not many people can do and have the heart to do what you have chosen to do. We have 38 today. It's probably one of the largest acts. Um, and um, it's a whole new challenge ahead of you. But the team that you have, I'm confident that not only will you succeed, but you will excel. But you have a special charge. Because yes, you are there to protect our community. You are there to keep us safe. You are there to hold people accountable. But remember, you work not for the Department of Imprisonment, not for the Department of Punishment. You work for the Department of Corrections. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support. That I will support and defend. And defend the constitutional The constitutional laws. Northern Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana The covenant to establish The covenant to establish A Commonwealth Northern Mariana Islands Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands In political union In political union With the United States of America With the United States of America Coming up, students learn more about power and water. Stay tuned. We were all working together like an ancient village would have worked together, some people with fish, some people with food, some people with building, whatever. It was just such an example of what our community could be. That, and everybody was being extremely humble and the opportunities for the community to come together, what's come out of it has been amazing. For me personally, and as a professional, to know what to do next. And I just wanted to thank you for the opportunity. 
brought to you by the Office of the Governor. Green sea turtles and hawksbill turtles call the Mariana Islands home. They're an important part of the marine ecosystem. They are under threat and they are protected under CNMI law. Keep plastic out of the ocean. Keep vehicles off the beach. Use the sea turtle stranding hotline if you see poaching activities or if you see a turtle in trouble. Call 287-8537 and save a turtle. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. The Commonwealth Utilities Corporation celebrates American Public Power Week. Why is power or electricity important to our community? What are ways we can conserve water? These were just some of the questions posted by elementary students who were visited by CUC staff as they celebrate American Public Power Week. CUC along with the APPA are doing presentations at the school where we're uh, talking about power, the importance of power conservation and water conservation. Workers also educated students about their roles, duties, responsibilities and how each division plays a key role in CUC. According to Cabrera, it is important to get the youth involved and educated. It's important for us to teach our, our students about energy and water conservation, knowing that our resources are not as plentiful as we would like it to be. So we're here to teach and get this, the students to be advocates to save water and power. The 500 Cells program adds another canoe to their ever-growing fleet and the community is invited to be a part of this cultural revival. The canoe is named Annie Moody and is a painted 15-foot Chamorro sailing canoe that was fabricated at the 500 Cells Boatyard facility in Lower Base. Her main hull and outrigger is made of fiberglass, and her spars are bamboo. She has been on display at the Bank of Saipan for the month of September, and finally, she will be in the water soon. Annie Moody's official welcoming ceremony in 500 Cell Sailing Fleet is scheduled for Monday, October 10 in Beach Road across the Bank of Saipan. The public is invited and encouraged to show support by even just honking your horn if you pass the venue. 500 Cells Director of Community Program Andrew Roberto says canoes are the lifeblood of Pacific cultures and our health, wellness, spirit and joy is tied to the boats. The building of Annie Moody is made possible by the traditional canoe fabrication and maintenance program of the 500 Cells Cultural Maritime Training Center in partnership with the Northern Marianas College. All right, folks, don't go anywhere because we have sports up next. Fast, fun, and easy. That's how your home Wi-Fi should be. So start with an internet plan that fits your budget. Introducing your home Wi-Fi starter pack, also known as WISP. Enjoy up to 25 megabits per second for as low as $35 a month, plus a free router with your wireless subscription. That's hours of movies, games, social media, and more endless fun. Get your Wi-Fi starter pack today only at Docomo Pacific. Better together. Additional conditions may apply. These fruits can bear all year round. Of all the lemons, man, Calamansi has the most seed, but yet the most juice. It's crazy. Yes. If you want something, just work hard for it. I don't know, like with my parents, I've just seen how hard they work. So, this is labor of love, no?
first of all, I'd like to thank the governor for this, the boost, the opportunity for this grant. Brought to you by the Office of the Governor. Hey, golfers, come north and practice your game at the Marianas Driving Range. New Year's local specials. 10-piece coupon books available for just $60. That's a $10 savings. Want to get really good? Come work on your swing every day for just $99 per month. It's our practice pass and you're going to love it. Grab your passes and go straight to the range. You can social distance and chip all at the same time and the views are free. Reserve now at MarianasTrekking.com. You can pay online. Open seven days a week. The Tan Sri Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The Foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Tonight, sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Point of sports, sports fans. fans. Our Friday Night Sports Report features a young boy with several talents and a passion for soccer. Let's meet our young star. You have to fight to achieve your dreams. You have to sacrifice and work hard for it. Lionel Messi said that. Young Star Shining brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. Tonight we feature an athlete from Garapan Elementary School who likes to work hard. He's fifth grader, Kanoa Owens. My name is Kanoa Owens. I am in fifth grade and um, I'm going to Garapan Elementary School. I'm 10 years old. Owens plays for the U13 MP United Football Club and has been active in this sport since he was five. I started playing soccer when I was three and then I've been playing ever since but took a break when I was five. He's also a runner and plays volleyball, but playing soccer is what he loves most. Well, it's I like it more than running because, you know, you're with your team and your friends. Mm -hmm. And then volleyball is like the same, I think. Last month, Owens competed in the Taga Kids Triathlon, won second place in his age category. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, I got second place. Um, and uh, you're just with your friends and, you know, doing a fun race. Owens tells us how he prepares himself before any race or competition. Um, I'm usually pretty nervous, but I just, you know, tell myself it's going to be all right and just play. Taking first place in volleyball during summer camp, one of his most memorable experiences in sports. Probably um, in summer camp, we played volleyball and we won first place. And Owens is very good in managing his time between school and sport. It's usually a big gap between them, so it's actually kind of boring because you have to wait a long time, but you know, you do like your homework and stuff like that. His piece of advice to those young kids out there? Uh, I think just, you know, keep that goal and um, really try. And uh, being active is really fun because you're with your friends, but you're also having fun playing. 
Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. Need a new phone? Trade in now and get up to $500 off our best 5G devices. Trade in your older phone in any condition and step up to better savings and speeds only our 5G network can provide. Check out our website and catch up on the best mobile experience. Trade in now. Docomo Pacific, better together. Friends in for the best night out at Godfather's Bar in Garabin. Sing along to your favorite hits with live music from the Gigolos. Godfather's has daily food and drink specials, like Taco Tuesdays. The best pizza on island every day of the week. Located on Palm Street in Garrett. Everybody is family at Godfather's Bar. Bada bing, bada boom. Hi, I'm Dre, one of the personal trainers here at Gold's Gym and today we're gonna go over the cable lat pull down. Now what we wanna remember with machine-based exercises, there's really no right or wrong way of doing it. There's multiple ways of executing the exercise. What you'll often see is lifters executing the exercise in this fashion, and instead of working the muscles of your upper back, you're just irritating the shoulder joint, which is what you don't want. All right, let's clean that up a little bit. Let's sit upright a little bit more. Okay, as you get a full stretch, bring it down with your elbows coming in. So in general, as you set up this way, you're going to be feeling majority of the impulse right here, which is your lats. Okay. He's getting a full stretch and he's getting a full squeeze in the bottom. And for the KSPN weather report, partly sunny with scattered showers and thunderstorms. East northeast wind around 6 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy north wind around 5 miles per hour, be becoming calm later in the evening. High 88, low 78, the humidity 89%. Tomorrow, mostly sunny northwest wind around 6 miles per hour. High 85, low 79. The marine forecast lights gentle winds and combined seas of 3 to 5 feet are expected to persist through Monday. Northwest wind 5 knots, wind waves 2 feet or less. Mixed swell east 3 feet and north 3 feet. The sunrise will be at 6.07 a.m. High tide at 6.25 p.m. Low tide 11.42 a.m. And the sunset, you can catch that at 6.02 p.m. And that does it for our Friday night edition of the new sports and weather here in the Marianas. As always, we thank you so much for tuning in to the Channel 2 News. We hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you back here on Monday.